How to Create Strong Online Relationships The days of just posting content on the internet and getting a following are in the past. Today's internet consumer requires much more. The savvy internet marketer of this day and time knows this. He, she will not only deliver winning content, but will also cultivate strong relationships with their site visitors. So, how do you create strong relationships with today's internet consumer? Take note of the following paragraphs. Point one major way to build strong relationships with online customers is to always offer value. Content is still king. When a person visits your online site, they are taking their precious time and energy to read what you have to offer. Imagine the disappointment that could set in if the content that is offered is thin and lacking real value. The result of this is that the customer probably won't revisit your site. If this happens enough times it could begin to cut into your commissions. So think, before adding content to your website or blog post, how will my targeted prospect feel after reading this information? Did I give them what they were looking for when they came to my site? Will the information that I have provided compel them to return? A second major way to build strong online relationships is to listen to the needs and concerns of your targeted prospect. I admit that this will take some doing. You will not only have to pay careful attention to the comments that are left on your own blog or to the email correspondence that you receive from your site visitors, you are actually going to have to venture out and visit other people's blogs and sites in your niche. Pay close attention to the questions that site visitors ask and begin to offer solutions to these questions on your own site and in the products and or services that you offer. People will begin to gain the impression that you really care about their needs. This will encourage them to spend more time on your site. The third major way to build strong online relationships is to do what you say you are going to do. It is very important that you honor your promises that you make online. For instance, if you promise that in return for the visitor opting in that you will send a surefire way to publish a book in 24 hours, then that is what you better send. Get it done regardless of any hurdles that you have to jump through. People don't take lightly to being tricked into interacting with a website and they certainly will not think twice about not revisiting your site if you don't honor your promises. A fourth major way to build strong online relationships is to see how you can help. This, once again, requires you to not only take note of comments left on your own blog or emails sent to you if you have a website, but to venture out and visit other people's blogs and websites and see what is keeping people up at night. Make an effort to leave helpful comments on the blog posts of competitors in your niche, make sure that you leave your website or blog site URL when you post. Visit some forums and see what questions are being asked. Answer as many questions that you can and leave a link to your blog or website. The fifth major way to build strong online relationships is to make sure that you have the necessary internal building blocks. Feeding yourself mentally with self-help books is a key component to building your relationship, building muscles. I know that your time is probably already budgeted with an online business, perhaps working a full or part-time job and or other responsibilities. However, you must feed your mind. Remember, it all starts with your thoughts. Read the following books, Endless Referrals by Bob Berg, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie, and Seven Habits of Highly Successful People by Stephen Cover. If your budget does not allow you to buy them new, then buy them used. You should even be able to get a copy of these books from your local library. Cultivating strong online relationships is a key component to internet marketing success in today's competitive marketplace. The main reason is that people who frequent the internet these days are looking for fulfilling online experiences. They want their questions answered and their orders filled by real people. They want to do business with people that they feel they can reach out and touch and depend on. So be prepared to go the extra mile, really dig in and interact with your online customers.